Hello, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Ken Fritz. I've owned and operated Poseidon Painting Company for about 30 years. Now uh, I reside in Richland, Washington. In this video, I'm going to be testing five different paint strippers. If you have an old door, if you have an old boat like a trawler or a speedboat, or you'd like to abate paint from the side of your house, you'll be able to choose a paint stripper that will be suitable for your project. I'm going to be testing five different paint strippers and we're going to see their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, I'll also mention um, what kind of packaging these paint strippers come in. If you, uh, this, this Prana 4 is by Fiberlock is one of the paint strippers that we'll be testing. This only comes in five gallon containers. If it, it's meant for large projects, and if you, uh, let's say, had several doors in your home and door casings, needed a lot of paint stripper, uh, you would need a large amount. If you went through the five gallons, you could always go and pick up something that's sold in a smaller container, like this uh, Back to Nature uh, uh, Multi-Strip Advanced. This comes in, in small packages. So, so uh, we're going to be working with the paint strippers. And after that, I'm going to be repairing this door. And uh, I'll show you what fillers to use, how to prep the door properly for painting. And then finally, I will be priming and painting the door. Uh, after that, I'm going to show you how to properly protect your flooring from paint strippers and uh, you'll be able to protect your sheetrock and I'll show you how to abate the paint from the, uh, the, the door casings in your home. So, let's get started. This is an old 70 year old door. Uh, I'm testing it for lead. It's beat. It's it's got a lot of uh, road rash on the side here, as you can see. Um, chipping, flaking, peeling paint. It has seen better days. This door is salvageable. Uh, it just needs some TLC. But the first thing I'm going to do is check for lead content. I've got this little kit, and I'm going to crush either sides of this. We're going to test and see if this does indeed contain lead. If it turns red, there's lead. Okay, we're testing for lead. If this tip is, is pink or red, then we know that this paint has lead in it. Let's see what's happening here. Yeah. It's pink, all right. This, uh, this definitely contains lead-based paint. So what our goal today is, is we're going to abate this door with a paint stripper. And what I'd like to do is talk a little about paint strippers um, and help you navigate through the different kinds of products out there. It's been a frustrating experience for me because uh, I really have not found a real good paint stripper in stores until recently. Um, for the last few years, I've been making my own, which is kind of a hassle. But now on the market, there's some uh, there's some promising uh, products out there. So I'm going to briefly discuss uh, some of the paint strippers, the different kinds, and what I uh, would endorse. So we've determined that this door has lead-based paint and it's chipping peeling flaking and it's just in really sad shape it's got some uh, bad gouges so what we're going to do is we're going to strip this door down to bare wood and i'd like to experiment with some different paint strippers uh, my experience with paint strippers is that paint stores and and hardware stores uh, usually don't have very good products They've got products like this that contain methylene chloride. My experience with methylene chloride is that it loosens the first two layers of paint 
and then uh, you have the small window to remove the paint and then it gets hard again. It's very frustrating. Uh, this particular product is not healthy to breathe in. I would not recommend using it in confined spaces. So anyway, I'm really not interested in even trying anything that has methylene chloride at this point. I found these guys, American Building Restoration uh, online. Uh, I was quite impressed with both the ABR and the grip and strip. Uh, the ABR is a citrus based uh, paint stripper. The grip and strip is a, a sodium hydroxide based paint stripper. This is very caustic. Um, it's got a very high PA. The multi strip advanced is made by the Sunnyside Corporation and uh, it contains uh, glycol, ether, dibasic esters, and formic acid. That's kind of a mouthful. Uh, next to it is a product also made by the Sunnyside Corporation called Ready Strip. And Ready Strip contains a chemical called N-methylpyrrolidone. And I've experiment, experimented with N-methylpyrrolidone strippers, very impressed with them. Uh, they really do work and they go through multiple layers of paint. Okay, next to this uh, Ready Strip, we have Fiberlox Piranha. It is also a uh, paint stripper that contains N-methylpyrrolidone. I've used this paint stripper and it works really, really well. Very impressed with it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'd like to do a special shout out to Rada Paints in Kennewick. They provided me with the uh, Fiberlock Piranha and the Ready Strip uh, uh, paint stripper here. And uh, we're gonna, we're just gonna test all of these and we're gonna see which works the best. Uh, so so anyway, um, I'm not going to try this, but I, uh, I was making my own paint stripper um, with propylene glycol, and this is just uh, from Ace Hardware. It's sodium hydroxide and uh, a, little, a little vegetable shortening, and this actually helped me provide the uh, vertical cling that I needed uh, when I was using it. Uh, as my uh, homemade paint stripper and it worked really well it's just that I don't have time to make my own and it's much easier for us to just go to a store and, and buy something that works so I'm gonna test all these paint strippers out and I'm going to uh, grade them on how well they they go through the paint um, how well they uh, stick with a vertical cling and the other thing that's important is its availability. Is it something that you can get easily? And uh, the, uh, the packaging also. Uh, the multi-strip comes in, in smaller quantities. Uh, you can get a gallon of it if you'd like, just like uh, the one next to it. Uh, the Prana, I'm told, only comes in five gallon buckets. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, scrape off the paint stripper. See how many layers of paint we uh, took off. This is just one coat of all these paint strippers, and we'll do a comparison. This is the uh, American Building Restorations product citrus formula. It's a paint remover paste, and here we go. Okay, we've got paint coming off very easily but uh, it's clearly not down to the substrate so I would say that we are going to need another coat of stripper on this but I'm pretty impressed with it I mean we're getting down to bare wood uh, pretty good okay now 
Here's the American Building Restoration Grip and Strip. This is the sodium hydroxide based paint stripper. Let's see how it did. Okay, pretty good. I mean, we're, we're almost down to bare wood. I put it on fairly thick, but uh, I would say that it's, it's done just a little bit better than the citrus strip. But uh, again, we're going to need to put another coat of this paint stripper on. Alright, this is the Multi-Strip Advanced. And uh, this is made by the, the Sunnyside Corporation, uh, Back to Nature Products. Uh, this is supposed to remove up to 17 layers of paint. Let's see how it did. Okay. Not quite going through 17 layers. It it went through it went through most of the paint. We're down to bare wood here and there, but clearly we're going to need to get another coat of paint stripper. So next to it is this is the uh, the brother of the multi strip. This is the stripper that contains N methyl pyrrolidone, and it's supposed to go through seven layers of paint. I think it did go through seven layers of paint, but okay, we are not <laughs> we are not getting down to the bare wood, so we are going to definitely need another coat of paint stripper. This is the Fiberlock Piranha. This is also an N uh, methyl pyrrolidone based paint stripper. Let's see how it did. Okay. doing pretty well. I would say out of all of the paint strippers that I've tested that the Prana Fiber Lock is probably the most aggressive. We are getting down to after just a little bit of scraping, a little more scraper, we're, we're getting down to the bare wood here. If you can see it. Again, I would think that we need to put another coat of paint stripper on. So it's definitely going to be a, a two coat process. All right, here's our door. This is a uh, second coat with, uh, with the uh, five paint strippers we're testing out today. And uh, anyway, the first coat was on for maybe about 20 hours. And the second coat now has been on for about five. And we're going to see if uh, we can get down to bare wood. So here's the uh, American Building Restorations uh, Citrus Formula. And it looks great. Look at that. It is coming off really quite easy. Very impressive. Right down to bare wood. Got a bucket here I'm going to be putting my, my uh, paint scraps into. Okay, here's the American Building Restorations Grip and Strip second coat. Let's see where we're at with this. This is going to this is coming off really easy also. We're going to give this product a thumbs up. Good stuff. That's the sodium sodium hydroxide base stripper. Okay, here's our uh, multi strip advanced um, and this one's made by Sunnyside Corporation. Let's see how well we're doing here. We're getting down to bare wood. However, it's not coming up as well as the other two paint strippers. Maybe if we had left it on a few more hours, we'd be down to bare wood, but it definitely is not as aggressive as the other two paint strippers. All right, here's the ready strip, and this is the N-methyl pyrrolidone. Uh, that's the working chemical in this one. Let's see how it's coming out. 
Okay. Not real impressed with this one. This is the least impressive paint stripper. I don't think I'm going to be using using this. I'm not real impressed by it. Uh, here's also uh, an N methyl pyrrolidone base paint stripper. The Prana 4, let's see how it's doing. Down to bare wood. Excellent paint stripper. Okay. That's quite impressive. Okay, we're going to lift this door up right now and we're going to test these five paint strippers to see how they work uh, on a vertical surface. I am not going to try this ready strip. I'm not real impressed with it. Uh, both of these claim to have N-methyl pyrrolidone. This obviously, the Prana product, is a stronger solution. Uh, the formula in this product is, is not as uh, aggressive. The, uh, the multi-strip is a little bit more aggressive and if I had let it sit on here for a little bit longer, it probably would have gone down to bare wood. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to try the Piranha the multi-strip and this citrus formula. Now the only problem with American Building Restorations products is uh, it's very hard to get here in the Northwest. Uh, you have to have it shipped and you're going to be paying a lot for shipping. This product I got at Home Depot and Rada Paints also can get it. Uh, so this is readily available. So this this one has uh, some benefits here. Uh, the Prana also is available at uh, Rada Paints and the only problem with this is it's a little bit more pricey and it comes in five gallon canisters, not one gallon. But this is a workhorse. It, it uh, obviously works really well. All right, so we're going to start stripping some paint off a vertical surface. This is gonna create a mess. So what I'd like to do is just protect the basement floor a little bit. I've got some uh, painter's masking film. This is the uh, what the box looks like. It's 0.31 mils thick and it unfurls to 9 feet. Uh, so what I like to do is just protect the floor. Alright, I'm going to tab the ends. Now, over the plastic, I like using this scrap paper. I got this from the Home Depot. You can buy these in paint stores. And these, uh, these are good because plastic is just when, when you're wet sloughing paint off the doors. When the wet sloughing paint off the doors fall on the plastic, it's going to create kind of a slippery mess. So this is kind of like a big paper towel over the plastic and this will afford enough protection for your floor. So we've got our floor protected and now it's time to protect ourselves. So I'm going to be doing some kind of heavy duty paint stripping. So for my hands I want these 7 mil nitro gloves. This is going to protect my flesh from the paint stripper. And as a professional painter, when we're baiting lead based paint, we have to have a respirator. If you have sensitive lungs, then I would definitely suggest using a respirator. But anyway, when you get a, a respirator, it's a good idea. These, these cartridges come sealed and it's a good idea when you're finished using respirator to put it in a bag because once you take that that uh, airtight seal off this cartridge starts working and if you want this respirator to last 
I mean, you might spend 30 minutes applying paint stripper to something, and then you're done for the day. But if you put this respirator in a Ziploc bag, an airtight Ziploc bag, this respirator is going to last a long, long time. So when you're done using it, don't just pitch it on your workbench, put it in a Ziploc bag. Also, I'm going to be wearing these coveralls. It's going to protect my skin from the paint stripper in case I get some spilled on me. These are super cheap. Here's a, a, a tip. When you're putting these nitrile gloves on, your hands might be a little sweaty. This uh, baby powder, <laughs> it works wonders. Uh, getting those gloves on because when your hands are all sweaty that tends to stick but when you put the baby powder on it's really easy to get your hands into these things I've ripped a lot of gloves in my time just because my hands are all sweaty and and uh, it just rips these nitrile gloves when you're trying to force them on your hands hands protected hands protected last piece probably one of the most safety one of the most uh, important items in, in the safety collection here. You do not want to get any paint stripper in your eyes. Uh, that, that, that would be a bad thing. So these wraparound goggles are really, really a good idea. Not even a, a good idea, a necessity. So uh, they're super cheap, uh, great insurance policy to keep your vision. So wear these. All right. Houston, the Eagle has landed. This is a materials safety data sheet, an MSDS. And all of these paint strippers come with these. So it's important to read what dangers the product you're using may pose. So it's a good idea to go through and, and read what you're using and wear the appropriate safety equipment. So I went over uh, with you that uh, gloves are a must. Uh, you don't want to get this uh, chemical on your skin, so coveralls are a really good idea. Eye protection, of course, and a respirator. Some of you might not like wearing a respirator, but if you have asthma or any kind of lung ailments, it's a really good idea. It's not that big of a deal to wear a respirator, especially if you're working in a confined room where there's not a lot of air movement. It's a good idea to, to just protect yourself. Okay, I've got a one by two on this door and I'm gonna prop it up against the wall and this will let me put paint stripper on both sides of the door at the same time it'll allow me to paint both sides of the door at the same time all right the first paint stripper we're gonna we're gonna test out three we're gonna test test out the uh, fiber lock piranha 4 which I'm using now and then we're gonna test out the multi strip advanced and then we're gonna test out the American building restoration uh, their citrus formula so on the top third of this door, this uh, I'm just rolling this paint stripper on, and uh, it's about fast, as fast or, or quicker than rolling paint. It goes on really easy. Stripping doors is if you have the right paint stripper is not as hard as you think. You can do this. This is totally within anyone's wheelhouse. It's just a matter of getting the right paint stripper, folks. If you have the wrong paint stripper, it's just a long, laborious, tedious job that nobody's going to want to do. And uh, I kind of understand why people throw their old doors away and they get these crappy, hollow core, cheap doors that have no soundproofing qualities whatsoever. Uh, if you have kids that are roughhousing, they tend to beat those doors up in no time. Now remember these doors are 70 years old and they've got some road rash. They have some road rash on the 
on the sides and you know they got some holes in the top and stuff but uh, they're completely repairable and they're quality doors I would not throw these away this is well worth the effort okay so I've got the Prana 4 on here and I tested the other side with the five strippers and uh, I'm just gonna do the sides here let's get some of this paint off the, the metal hardware the door hinges here let's see how that works Right, so I am completely impressed with this Piranha 4. This this gel is not sagging what whatsoever. Its formula is very strong. It's not going to be a disappointing paint stripper. This will also strip catalyzed epoxies and urethanes. So this will strip almost any kind of coating whatsoever. Next. We got the Prana 4 up here. Next online, we're going to be uh, putting the citrus formula on the, uh, the lower part of this door. And I was reading the directions and this, it, just, it mentioned nothing about applying it with a, with a roller. Uh, you could see how fast that went on. So as far as user friendliness goes, uh, this one has a little leg up on, on this product. Uh, this says you can you can brush or trowel it on so that's kind of what I'm going to do here it just involves more labor now we got some hardware here on your doors with the metal hardware uh, I, I'm gonna say be real careful with any paint stripper always kind of test before you do like all your hinges or your doorknobs or whatever uh, you might want to take a magnet to uh, to your uh, your hinges or your or dirt or your doorknob uh, because that sodium hydroxide based paint stripper the grip and strip would really pit that out don't think we're going to have an issue with this citrus blend, but we're going to find out. I'm sure it's going to remove the paint just fine from this metal. But uh, if you've got a lot of hardware, don't just assume that the paint stripper you're using is going to take the paint off it. Just do one hinge or do one doorknob or or something. Just just do a small quantity at first, just to play it safe. And, and if it takes the paint off, then then you're golden, then you can just do the rest of it. All right, that's troweling it on. Wasn't as easy as putting the, uh, the uh, prana on, but uh, anyway, we're down to one more paint stripper we're going to apply on the bottom third of this door. We're gonna be using the uh, the multi-strip advanced and this mentions in the directions that you can roll it on which is a bonus I'm going to try to put it on as uniformly as possible now this material is also something that you can spray on your house and <clears throat> it didn't work as quickly as the prana However, they're mentioning that you can lay, you can leave this product on for uh, several days, I guess, and and uh, the more time you let it dwell, the the more layers of paint it's going to eat through. My experience with uh, doing paint stripping on vertical surfaces, though, is that this paint will slough off almost like a fabric, and then it it'll, it'll pull away from the succeeding layers of paint beneath it and so uh, the chemical can't really reach the uh, 
the other layers of paint. So it's usually a two coat process.